Hi, I'm Rebecca and I'm going to show some ways to fine-tune a double hammock. If you're looking for a how-to video for the double hammock itself, I'm going to post a link in the comments so that you can follow that. Alright, I'm going to use my demo bear here. He is weighted, so that makes it a little easier to wrap him. And my first tip is to start with a uh, means of getting him on your back that starts high versus low and having to scoot up. So either, depending on the age of your child, you're either gonna do a uh, Santa toss, which is getting it up nice and tight around his arms, and then going over the back, or you're gonna do some sort of modified Superman. Now I like to do this instead of a hip scoop because gravity is working in our favor that way. And so better, easier to start high and work down than trying to bounce a kid up, in my opinion. All right, get him over the top. Now the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm still holding on to him, and I'm gonna take these rails and I'm gonna pin them or bite them, whatever it takes, and then we're gonna get that seat. Now I like to give just a little bit of slack here, and I'm a biter, so I'm gonna do that, and then we're going to work that seat in the back. Now we've got that good rebozo pass there, working it knee to knee. So they be nice and secure. And then I'm going to take my long pass here, obviously pinned between the knees. Okay, now the key to keeping everything tight and high is keeping that pressure on all the way, so nice and tight there. Now, get my chest pass. And I like to get as much of the slack out here as I can. And I use this long pass here to help pin. So I can use two hands to work this chest pass. And you can see that this is actually helping him hold it in place. And that also helps keep baby pinned in back. And now, the, I'm gonna get the, I like to pull it all the way out like this. And I do, I, arms back and pop that up and the, that can take a little practice and not everyone has the arm flexibility I get that but I know that works really well for me all right so now here in the back this is another place people get in trouble we've got looseness here we've got this thing up here and sometimes the chest belt is also still a little bit loose so we're going to do first thing is the L pull or pull it all the way up and I'm using this hand to help work some of that fabric around and go down to the bottom strand by strand and I still get a little bit here and how hard this is will depend on how grippy your, your wrap is all the way up and around good and that is key that you're getting that test chest belt tight makes all the difference in the support and we go around here and now this pass here, this rebozo pass, you're going to want to also push that under and help get a good seat with that one as well. And I don't know if you could tell, but I actually will grab my shirt with one hand and use my other hand to do the pushing up because the fibers always want to go with it and I end up with shirt crammed up underneath the child's butt and then when I pull that down it pulls the seat out as well. Alright and so now we should have good knee to knee coverage not overly done on this baby. If you find that your baby's feet are ending up all crammed up underneath here like this which can be prone to be to happen, you just pin those between your knees and try to work that in place a little bit better. But that comes from not getting things, trying to put it in place too fast and not actually 
taking the time to strand by strand tighten and mold it around the spot your baby the way you want. All right, so now we're here and it's easy to wanna just finish it off and go and obviously there's plenty of times when you need to do that. But if you're looking for more comfort, you plan to have the baby up for a long time, you're planning, you're getting a lot of strain, we're gonna do an envelope shoulder here where we're going to take the, the wrap and fold it in half and actually work out all of those wrinkles so that that bunching doesn't pinch anywhere on your body. There we go. Keeping that all in place right now. And that's gonna make it nice and smooth and not give you any pressure points. Take that around. Do that the same over here. Shoo. Pressure, pressure, pressure. Okay, nice and flat. And around. And now here you can tie it off or do any of the fun, fancy things that you're gonna do. No chest spots, but I, that's what I like to do. You can even envelope them a second time if you have more narrow shoulders and you're still getting too much bunch in there. But the keys are all of that tightening and taking the time to get the slack out because if your chest belt is loose um, you're going to see baby starting to sag and it's going to go a little off kilter and it's just not as comfortable over time and I think double hammock is one of the most supportive and straightforward comfort carries and there we have it thank you